It is generally believed that the city of Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire. I also had this belief. But when we look at the evidence, we find that there is little evidence to support this claim. And it appears that most likely it was the city of Prayag which was the capital of the Gupta Empire, at least up to the period of Samutra Gupta. We can say this because when we look at the early Gupta rulers, particularly up to the rule of Chandragupta I, we find that the base of the Gupta Empire during this period was the Eastern UP region. When we look at the coins of Chandragupta I, most of these coins are found in Eastern UP. What is even more interesting is that the coins of Chandragupta I are rare in Magadh. So, let's say if Magadh was the center of the Gupta Empire, it is natural to assume that the coins of Chandragupta I would also be there in this region. But that is not the case. Instead, we find that it was in Eastern UP where majority of Chandragupta I's coins are present. Now when we move to the reign of Samudragupta, we find that although the region of Magadh had become part of the Gupta kingdom, but even now the city of Prayag was the center of Gupta empire. We can say this because one of the most important inscription of Samudragupta is located in Prayag. We are talking about the Prashasti of Samudragupta. Now it is natural for us to assume that a prashasti or an inscription of this important would be present in the capital of a particular ruler. Now, if Samudragupta had his capital in Patliputra, it was quite natural for him to place this inscription in Patliputra. But that is not what we see. Instead, this important inscription of Samudragupta is in Prayag. So this makes it clear that during the reign of Samudragupta, it was Prayag which was the capital of the Gupta Empire. We have another evidence to support this theory that it was the Eastern UP region which was the center of the Gupta Empire. We all know that Samudragupta performed the Ashwamedha sacrifice. He also issued coins in which the sacrificial horse is depicted. And in some of these coins, the legend reads Ashwamedha Parakrama, which means one powerful enough to perform the Ashwamedha sacrifice. So it becomes quite clear that Samudragupta performed the Vedic sacrifice. Then we have evidence to suggest that during the reign of Kumar Gupta, this sacrifice was also performed. Now, apart from the coins in which the sacrificial horse is depicted, we see there are some sculptures of horses that suggest that during the Gupta period, multiple times this Ashwamedha sacrifice was performed. Now, what is interesting about these horse sculptures is that archaeologists have found three such types of sculptures and all of these three sculptures are found from Eastern UP region. The first was found from Lakhimpur Khiri district. The second was found near Ilhabad and the third was found near Varanasi. So all of these three sculptures of horses were found in Eastern UP region. Now we all know that Ashwamedha sacrifice was one of the most important sacrifice an ancient Indian ruler could perform. So it would be natural for us to assume that this sacrifice would be performed in the capital of a particular kingdom. Now, if the capital of the Gupta Empire was the city of Patliputra, we would assume that this sacrifice was also performed in the vicinity of Patliputra. But that is not what we see. We find that the sculptures of these horses were found from Eastern UP region, not from Magadhan region. So this suggests that it was the Eastern UP region where the capital of the Gupta Empire was situated. Now this theory that Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire can also be questioned when we look at the inscriptional evidence. When we talk about the early Gupta rulers, we have some 15 inscriptions that belonged to these rulers. Of these 15 inscriptions, 8 inscriptions are found in Eastern UP and only 2 inscriptions are from Magadhan region. And even these two inscriptions, some scholars believe, are not real. They are forgeries. So this suggests that it was the Eastern UP region which was the 
center of the Gupta Empire. Apart from this, we can also look at the archaeological evidence from the city of Patliputra itself. Now, we would assume that since Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire, we would also find some archaeological evidence to support this claim. Now, when we look at the archaeological evidence from Patliputra, we find that there are no inscriptions that are found from Patliputra that belonged to the Gupta rulers. And when we look at the evidence of coins, we see that no coin hoards are found from Patliputra. Now, when we compare it to Eastern UP, we see that from Eastern UP, 14 coin hoards have been found. So we can compare the amount of coins that are found from Patliputra and the amount of coins that are found from Eastern UP. Now moving to the account of travelers, we all know that during the reign of Chandragupta II, a Chinese traveler named Fa Yen came to India and he also visited the city of Patliputra. Now we would assume that uh, since Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire, this Chinese traveler would write great deal about the city of Patliputra. But when we look at his account, we see that this is not the case. He describes briefly the palaces of King Ashok and after it, he talks about the Buddhist sites that were present in and around the city. Now, if suppose Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire, we would assume that this Chinese traveler would have written a great deal about it. But that is not what we see. So from this, it appears that during the Gupta period, Patliputra lost its prominence. All this evidence suggests that Patliputra was not the Gupta capital. Now the question comes, which city was the Gupta capital then? The answer to this question is not entirely clear. We can reasonably assume that the city of Prayag was the capital of the Gupta empire up to the reign of Samudragupta. After Samudragupta, particularly during the reign of Chandragupta II, some scholars believe that it was the city of Ayodhya which became the new Gupta capital. During the reign of Kumar Gupta and the later Gupta rulers, did Ayodhya remain the Gupta capital is not certain. Now, the reason why the Guptas did not choose Patliputra as their capital can be answered when we look at the political situation of this period. We find that in the post Kushan period, the political center of the northern part of the Indian subcontinent has shifted from the Magadhan region to the UP region. And that is why we see that it was in the eastern UP region, the Guptas chose their capital. Now, if you want to know more about the Gupta history, please watch this playlist. Thank you for watching.